So we have got an underwater level now. Are vampires supposed to survive underwater? Just asking. Hello everybody, welcome back to more Kid Dracula or Akumaju Special Dracula Kun on the Famicom, yeah. Anime names, cool. So yeah, last episode was the first one for this playthrough. I play through a couple of areas, I guess tonight. I say tonight, it's fucking 10 in the morning here. But today, it is another hard container, there is no need for me to get it, really. So today I'm gonna be playing a couple more areas, I suppose. Uh, also, I've been using normal. I wanna change to homing. And I haven't been getting any coin. So let me try to get at least a couple in order to play a bonus game, whatever it is. Ideally, I would like to show off all the bonus stages. There are four or five. I think there are four. At least you have seen half of them. And many of, the, of them are going to get repeated as well. That's clear. <clears throat> Shooting those spiky balls is optional, you know? If you don't do anything, they're not gonna shoot anything either. But if you do, like I just did, I'm gonna get myself killed. Actually, no, I recovered in me there. In fucking credible. The heart is not a hard container, it just allows you to recover your health. I say just, like it was something bad. And I'm going to be fighting a boss anytime soon. And I haven't been getting enough coins. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to use the bomb. I forgot that's a new ability that I have. But since this guy is technically floating, pretty much just like a flying enemy, it's better just to shoot him upwards. And the bomb, I don't think is very good at that. I mean, it shoots only to one specific direction. So homing is gonna take a while because it's kind of a weaker attack but at least it assures me hitting the guy at least once but I'm tempted to use the bomb nonetheless wow the bomb ended up wrecking this motherfucker wow flight skill Oh yeah, I become an actual bat for a limited amount of time. Why did I click out of the window? Alright, let's choose A. I know I'm gonna end up somewhere else. I already played B and C. I'm gonna be playing D. Nice, at least another one. One shot. <sighs> oh yeah, this. Don't hit the skeleton. Or you lose. Yeah, but this is completely based on luck. Alright. And I lose. And the last one. Wait, I didn't win anything? Weird. Anyway, Canada. Well, somehow, I already told you that the game is pretty generic when it comes to platforming. Spin-off and everything, but basically you are going through the typical levels you will encounter in any average platformer for any console, not only an NES thing or a Famicom thing for this matter. Uh, Another hard container. Again, it's not gonna increase beyond five. So yeah, you will see like underwater ice. Probably a forest. So yeah. Predictable, but still fun.
I just noticed Kid Dracula makes a face every time I charge my attacks. Yep, cool face. Oh fuck, well... Jumped a bit too high so the icicles actually got me. Not very smart. Alright, in here you need to fly, so... Need to change my ability. I have five seconds. What the fuck? I touched the spikes? Alright, I think I detected the problem here. It doesn't go straight on a line. It goes up. See? It's going up slowly. So that's why I ended up touching the spikes. Makes sense. So the flying ability will finish, will end whenever you either, well, touch a spike. The upper one doesn't insta-kill you, but the lower one does. Or it stops when you touch the floor. I'll be using homing for this one. Pretty much from this level on, changing abilities will be a common thing. Shit. And I guess you need the flying ability once again. Hey, I need to get it fully charged, otherwise it won't work. What the fuck is that? That's a female enemy? Anyway, I'm gonna be fighting this guy now. Probably this one is like ideal for homing because of the way it's moving. But I don't know how much damage I'm really dealing with this. Oh, I thought it won. Gonna destroy the platform anytime. Alright, that was it. Actually, that was quite simple. And I got the freezing attack, which I don't ever remember using. I played this game a couple of times on a stream. And I also did the Game Boy version. Yeah, probably you already know this game better because of the Game Boy version. Even though they might look like the same game, Kid Dracula on the Game Boy is regarded as a sequel to this title. And I would like to play through uh, as well, probably right after this, uh, this one playthrough. So, um, the only one we haven't played is Path Letter A. We're gonna play C again, Lottery. Unfortunately, you cannot skip these bonus games. Well, if you are playing legit, of course, you will want to play this so bad because you will need the lives, maybe. Alright, need to speed it by moving the, the path. In this case, the arrow keys. Alright, at least I'm getting plenty of lives right away. Another three up thing. That's a yellow one? Wow! Yeah, literally wow! I've been getting lives in every single attempt. To think they didn't want to play this. Another blue one! Holy shit! Compared to the last run, almost 30 lives. Yeah. And. I think it's a good time for me to end the episode. We're gonna go through the city next time.